today we're going to talk about API requests, how they work, and how they apply to your career AI projects in very simple terms. So if you're a beginner, you don't have a lot of programming practice, I definitely recommend you watch this tutorial because moving on to other tutorials, we're going to start talking about API integrations and how you can get your career AI projects to communicate or send data to other apps. One of the more frequent questions that I get during one-on-ones is how we can integrate career AI projects with other applications such as Gmail or the YouTube API or sometimes a different one that handles CRM data. And even though I think OpenAI made their API as user-friendly as possible, when it comes to integrating your projects with multiple technologies, that's not always gonna be the case. So understanding the principles behind the scenes is gonna be super important for you. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, anytime you've visited a website, you've never actually gone to a website. You've actually requested information from that server. So whenever you type the link and then press enter, whether it was on your browser, on your phone, or in your laptop, you're actually sending a GET request to those servers. And in terms of using an API, really there are four types of requests that you can make. These are all types of HTTPS requests. The four requests that you can make are either gonna be GET, which is just to retrieve information, POST, which is to send data, PUT, which just stands for updating or changing. And the last one's gonna be delete. You wanna retrieve some contact info from another application. Well, you would be sending a GET request. And depending on the type of data that you wanted to retrieve, well, that's where you would have to specify by the appropriate endpoint. As you can see in the example up here, the link is postman-echo.com. Here you see the get request and specifying that it wants the city and ramen data fields. So now once you've specified the type of request you wanna send, with a specific endpoint of the data you want, this is where the API or application programming interface is gonna convey that information between the request you're sending to the company servers. It will look through their database and that's where you get your response back. Typically the response you get is gonna be JSON formatted and this is just because JSON is not only pretty human readable, but it's also very easy to parse through because of the way that all of the text and the fields in it are divided up. So now if you put this in the context of the OpenAI API, well, the first part of it is you want to send it your prompt. So that would be a post request. Depending on the type of large language model you want, whether it's GPT-3 or GPT-4, then you would be specifying that on the endpoint. Now, if your API key is valid and you have permission to access that part of the application, then that's where OpenAI servers would handle your request and give you your response for your prompt. So those are the main parts of an API request. It's going to be specifying the type of request specifying the endpoints for it and after you've submitted that request it's pretty much up to the company how they want to handle that request and what kind of response they're going to give you and these same concepts are going to apply when it comes to linking other applications to your crew ai project so instead of this part in the diagram where you see company server think of your crew ai project in that same manner when it comes to sending data or processing data with your crew ai project well we're going to have to create the endpoints that are going to allow for your crew ai project to be triggered once a post request is sent, but in order to create those endpoints, we're first gonna have to set up your career AI project on a server, even if it's on your local machine. And last, once the request is processed, we're also gonna have to write out how we wanna send the response back to the original application. So essentially, if you wanna link your career AI project to other applications, you pretty much can end up writing out an API for your career AI project. As we move forward with other projects in our tutorials, being able to integrate career AI with these other applications is gonna be crucial to get the most out of your projects. I think there's a pretty steep increase in complexity, but regardless, even as I start talking about those more complex topics, I don't want you to feel like this is too complicated, like, you know, it's going above your head. I want you to have a high level understanding of these concepts as we move forward. Let me know in the comments what integrations you're looking forward to implementing for your career AI project. And if you have any questions about implementing career AI or agent systems to your personal projects or your business, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can book a one-on-one -on -one video call with me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.